Here's the AMC 401 crankshaft. It uh, magnifluxed okay. But uh, something kind of funny is there's little uh, dings in it. Almost like someone took a chisel and just tapped it. That'd be a great place for a crack to start. So I'm actually going to get out the old die grinder and grind those out of there. If you look closely at the crank, there's actually a small amount of material you can remove that's not really going to affect anything. I'll also remove some unneeded stuff like this big bump here and uh, any other bulges I can find that are unnecessary. Here's another example of one of those uh, dings. Not under the thrust surface, luckily. I'll be using a die grinder with a grinding burr and I'll probably polish it out some with uh, some sandpaper rolls. But before I get started, I'm going to tape some old bearings on the journals to protect them. Here's what this uh, AMC 401 crank is weighing in at. The bearings are taped on there and we'll uh, touch the grinder to it. I'll have a face shield on with a respirator and uh, some hearing protection. I finally have all the uh, rough areas of this uh, crank polished out. Hopefully it's a little bit stronger and the uh, oil will roll off a little bit better. And I'm just going to dress up these uh, weights a little bit. I chucked up a longer mandrel in my die grinder. They're really rough. And take a look at this one. There's some imperfections in them. So I'll just uh, Smooth those all a little bit. Not gonna get too carried away with that. Here's a look at her with the uh, bearings removed. And when I Clean up these weights a little bit. I was uh, real careful to stay off of the shoulder area. You don't really want to get in there. Here's a look at the front of the crank. This is uh, probably where the most work was done. I've got the crank back on the old bathroom scale here, and we'll just see if it reads anything different. A little bit different. I'm pretty much used to driving things around that have a 455 in them, so I was kind of curious on how this uh, AMC is going to rev. And I raided my engine pile and uh, decided to weigh some cranks. Here we have a cast 343 crank, we've got a Pontiac 455 crank, here's an Olds 455 crank, and here's a forged Olds 425 crank. So we'll get these on the scale and see how they weigh in. Get about 55.8 on that uh, 343 crank. And there's Pontiac cranks coming in at uh, 71.6. Here's the Oldsmobile crank, 455 coming in at 71.6. Here's the Olds 425 crank coming in at uh, 78.6. No surprise there because uh, that is a forged crank. That's about it for the crankshaft video. I'll drop this uh, crank back off at the machine shop and uh, move forward with the build. Thanks for watching.